in a dairy farm field, a mixture of tomatoes, beans and the corns, Anna is picking tomatoes. While Elizabeth and her teammates are separating beans, pulse and the stems. These are among 15 members that make up a development cell in the town where Mitterambere in Irugamba commune. One of the development cells that Restoration Burundi is supporting. Restoration Burundi is accompanying families married in misery to reach sustainable development. These families are grouped in development cells and the Restoration Burundi is running 10 cells in Ibsoni and the Bugabila communes in Kilundo province and the Irugamba commune in Chibitoke province. These cells are given seasoned fertilizer, properties to plow, small animals to breed, such as goats, rabbits, and pigs. In Lugamba Commune, Restoration Burundi is running three development cells of 50 families altogether. This is one of them. It's composed by 15 families, most of whom are women whose husbands fled famine to other countries such as Congo, Tanzania, and Uganda, leaving their wives and their children. Restoration Burundi encountered them after they had fallen into despair as their life was practically turning impossible due to poverty. Restoration Burundi told them how they could make their life going on without being with their husbands. They were taught how they could develop themselves through cultivating and breeding smart cattle. These families are good learners. They immediately decided to put into practice where they learned and grew a beautiful field. Lugambo, one of the hottest communes in Burundi is very fertile, but is overpopulated and dry. To gain enough production, requires to plow a land which is near water supplies to make irrigation possible. However, properties which are near water supplies are too expensive to rent, and these families which have very low income can't afford them. In September 2022, Restoration Burundi had rented for them a property which is near water supply. Moreover, Restoration Burundi gave them seeds of tomatoes, beans, soybeans, corns, and fertilizer. This is one of the properties that Restoration Burundi had rented for them. Tomatoes are ripe. This is the second time they are harvesting tomatoes. After picking those which are fully ripe, they wait for those which are still green to turn red and come to pick them after. Within the same field, they cultivated beans and soybeans. They are picking up beans while soybeans are yet to be harvested. On the other part of the field, they have harvested corns, and the neighboring children are scavenging for sweet corn stalks left on the field to chew. <laughs> Meanwhile, others are begging for tomatoes to eat, though. Tomatoes, which are overripe, are sold on the ground to local tomato sellers. Those which are not overripe are packed in the transit to Bujumbura where prices are high. However, tomatoes are packed in specialized bags using dried banana leaves to prevent them from getting bruised after a long transport to Bujumbura. These women have to pay an amount a person for that. Tomato bags are branded before being loaded into transport cars.
after raping and destroying these families. Feel proud and encouraged. <laughs> Of course, they must be proud. In fact, most of them had been internally displaced and don't possess the only privilege to grow plants nor animals to breed, and their life was practically becoming impossible before the encounter with Restoration Burundi. Susan, after being abandoned by her husband seven years ago, experienced harsh living conditions with her seven children. She encountered Restoration Burundi as she had fallen in deep despair. Nanjye ndashimye kuko nta babantu abo bantu batwiyumviye ko no kuri je nari mu bukomeye cyane mu bibanze bikomeye cyane ari ukuntu imibereho yanje yari yo kuguma nchingero cha bibiri cha bitatu no kuri hinzu byose ari kubo ndabona yuko nimbuye inzu nzo yiriha bitanduhije nafungura rimwe ku munsi ari kubu ndabona yuko ngiye gufungura kabiri ku munsi no kuri barakoze baragize ne narakoze naragize neza kubona mwadushikanye ku bintu nk'ibi nta muri mawe wanje nigera ndima nanje nimbure nk'abandi kwari kuguma nja gukorera abandi iyo rija iyo rija mwarakoze naragize neza Hmm. Paul, a father of seven children, has to feed nine months in his family, whereas his everyday life relies on working in rice plantations to earn 3,000 a day. This is less than one kilogram of rice. He is grateful. Life is going to change. Yeah. Kani <laughs> Mariam, whose husband went to Kenya in 2016, was uncertain of her fate along with her six children. Now, her tomorrow is promising. To strengthen these development cells, Restoration Burundi organized training to increase their knowledge, especially team collaboration, and gives them tips for development and encourage their hard work. Through the picture of a woman carrying her husband along with her children, Restoration Burundi urges everyone in the team to work hard and avoid discouraging others. Also, they profit the occasion to pray for the day. Moreover, they sit together to evaluate the achievement and discuss what should be done next. Mm -hmm. 
Restoration Burundi is committed to reaching Myanmar families living in similar conditions. Yeah.